Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm back now on here. I have been not on here for a while. Um, probably nearly a couple of weeks I suppose, I don't know. Um, haven't just felt like doing any sort of crafting and now I am still <laughs> a little bit, um, I don't know, not into it that much but I, I thought I'd go through a few of my things and see what I could find to do so I thought well I might as well let you have a look too and see what I'm doing if I can find something you know to do so um, I've got a lot of bits and pieces that I've cut out because I wanted to do um, something and these I got out of a, a couple of books the other day that I bought at one of the thrift shops and I really like these um, pictures this one came out of a a kid's storybook, but I and I really like that too. But the, it's a shame that the person that did the drawing, you know, didn't draw better people pictures because <laughs> when I say better, you couldn't see their faces very good. But I liked it. I liked that little um, wagon thing. That was cool. And I got a whole heap of things, um, of paintings, um, out of a, a magazine or book. I mean that I bought about Australia, and these are really cool. I like those. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I do know, I did know who painted some of them. <laughs> um, somebody by the name of McCarthy did some of them. And other ones were done by Albert Nemajira did. I think he did that one there. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. doesn't say. But anyway, so... Um, is <laughs> these are by different ones. This could have been one of his. Maybe not. Yeah, that could have been. Yeah. And then I've got um, more. Oh, that one there could be. There it is. It's got his name on it. Look, isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? But you can't even see it, what I'm showing you here. If I get under the camera, it might be a good idea. Eh? There we go. So that's one of his paintings and the paper actually has got a, like a texture to it so it looks really good doesn't it and I really want to look for something to do with these because I didn't want to throw these out I want to keep them because I really like them love the colors I love the coloring and that in them too you know they're, they're really really nice um, the book was about uh, Australian history and stuff so there was more um, bits like this in there which I think are really cool um, they'd be all right for doing uh, decoupage, not decoupage, collaging, but that's not something that I'm really gifted with. I'm, doing, I'm trying to do it, and not really gifted with that at all. That was a, this is a really old looking one, isn't it? Look at that. That's really nice. And these are the Holden cars. Pictures of those. I had to have that because my mother took me to school in one that looked. They all look a pretty lot the same. Hers was a creamy colour. I think on a rare occasion we got it left to school. I think, well, I don't know, could have been that one there. It was like, sort of cream, I think it could be, you know, I'm going with the colour. I swear she only went five miles an hour. Geez, used to take. I was only a little girl, but I figured, geez, you, you know, you better hurry up. We're never going to get there. I can remember that as well. I didn't say anything. I never said that. I thought it, but I never, wouldn't have said it. No. <laughs> We've got to have some sort of filter, don't we? These ones here I cut out of that book that had the wagon in it. But see, the, the faces of the ladies were not actually gorgeous, but they're okay. Some of them, you know, they just, they just weren't um, the things I like. These aren't too bad, and they've got really nice dresses on. So they could go into something, couldn't they? Probably can't see them doing because it's our stuff that's underneath it. But they look nice. Then got another little, oh, no, that we won't see that one because it's on the floor now. Got a little car out of there, and this one here come out of something no, it was else that I can't, I can't, can't think. I went crazy the other day and had to cut off all this stuff because I wanted to get rid of the books that I have collected up that I wanted to cut stuff out of. So that was just some of the bits and pieces that I cut out. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for today, so... I wanted to look at my stamps to see what sort of stamps I had because I haven't done any stamping for a long time so I'm going to get a piece of paper, piece of paper, 
I'm going to have a bit of a stamp and see what see what I can find because I need to um, put something stamping on something. I don't know. <clears throat> That'll do me for a start. I probably won't need to get that carried away, will I? Have too much. Too much can be very. Um, it'll get you mucked up. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Well, first of all, I can show you what I was doing here too, because I was looking at these as well, because I actually can use this in what I'm going to do. I've got a whole heap, I've got a stack of page pieces that I've cut out of here. Now, um, these were all dies that I've got, but there's also some that I got that I've had for a really long time. And I've got one, I've got my big shot, and I've cut and I've cut out a couple of those because they look pretty good too. I think this was it here. No, that was one of the new ones that I've got. But I think these papers turned out really good for doing tags and that. I probably should have a go at that, don't you reckon? Yes, I think so. Then I've got a lot here with um, little of the little booklets that I, and I cut out more of that. I get carried away when I get the big shot out. I start carrying this really cutting stuff out of it. I bought myself one of these... Um, so these I've cut, oh yeah, because I cut the ladies out because I want to put them in a frame. So I've got to find the right frame thing to put around that. And I'll cut these other bits here. I thought I had one of them I cut out of the, one of my old um, big shot things. I wonder if this is it. Oh yeah, this is it here, I think. Is it? Does it look like it's... Yeah, it's not the same as this one, is it? And that's, you know, one I've had for it since I've got my big shot machine. That thing is. But anyway, so I was diddling in that. And I got some more... Um, I'll show you. I got some more dies as well, that I was cutting out as two. So I'm going to have to put something together with this, aren't I? You know? Find me stamps and get something put together with that. My cat's in there running around flat out on the floor. He's having a lovely time because it's so cool here. It is so cool. Now, I don't know if I showed you, I have my new dies. I have some horses. I've got this horse one. Um, it's really cool, isn't it? Look at that. There's a mother horse and a baby horse. Okay, puss, that's enough now. Hope he doesn't jump up here on the table and knock everything flying because he's just gone gone all silly there. I got this one here, which is a koala bear in a tree. Where's the camera? You know what I'm doing? I'm looking over this side here. Where, where am I? <laughs> I'm looking that way because that's where the screen is. I'm not thinking I've got to show you. That's neat. One isn't it? The Kyle Bear up a tree. So that was a new one that I got. And I might have showed you the one with the um, selling one. I'm sure I did. But that's what I've been. When I buy one, I just have a little bit of a game to try and fix it. Now I've I've, I've been doing some mushrooms on the, um, what's the name, paper, tea dyed paper. They look really good, don't they? Wait a minute, I'll show you these others here. I've stuck the bottom part back in. It cuts, actually cuts out the base, like so. And I stuck it back in because I really wanted it to be in there. So these look really cool, don't they? They do look really nice cut out of that the coffee dyed paper. Just mushroom you like. Mm. So that's that. So that's what I've been, that's what I've got this time. I have been buying some wool roving because I wanted to do some um, needle felting. Have not done needle felting for so long. Cannot find my needle felting stuff in my room. Cannot get in my room. If only I had somebody who would fix my room for me 
and I need it. I'd have to pay them thousands of dollars, I really would. Now, what else can I show you? I put a lot of stuff away, so I can't really show you much, so I had to go in the room because I had too much stuff out here. So anyway, I wanted to try and see what I could find in the way of a stamp to do a um, collage, but I wanted to make it with some sewing things, so I've got a... I've got a... Um, <laughs> That's a, it's a cotton reel. <laughs> ah dear, sorry. Cotton reel, cotton reel. I've got a cotton reel. All these things are stuffed in here. Stuffed, and on a minute, here's a cotton reel too. That's the end of it, that's the other bit. Righto. Have I got a thing in one of these? What do you call it? You know, the thing that you... A block. I need a block. There's a lady. Has she got sewing? She got flowers. Because I'm doing my sewing theme journal at the moment. I might use one of these little inks. Don't know yet. They're pretty good, you know, and they're fair age too. They last a fair while. Some things do that, don't they? They, they do keep. I can't find anything unless I move something, so... I've got that, I've got that lady, she's neat, I think I've got a couple of that one. Should I put a lady in me somewhere? I suppose I could. Or one of these little babushka doll thingies. There you go, nice. There's a lady one. So I've got two of those. I mean, you know, who's going to have extras, don't you suppose? I don't know, I think they were gifted to me a long time ago. Oh, right, okay. These are cool. These are good for work, putting on your stamp things, aren't they? Then, oh, I want to do collages. There's a music bit. Oh, good. I like that. Oh, and I've got one of these. <gasps> I think I just bought one of them. Oh, dear, I've got one. And this is because I can't find anything. So I just go and buy more. I'm terrible, aren't I? What's that one? There's a bit of writing and things in it. Here's a block, but there's stuff stuck to that. Same with that one. This is a leaf or a feather. Don't know, I'll find that out after if I stamp it on something. Must have some more to do with sewing. Have I got anything like a tape measure or a. Must have something to do with this bit of a house. Hope we get this finished one day. Oh, here's another thing I can use on those. Tag ticket things, you know. You, I had some. I've had some of these for ages, um, and just not, not. Oh, look, there's a postage thing, and that's a, for a stamp. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's try that one. Oh boy, Can't, I've gone off the track here, haven't I? I do have cotton rolls in case I want to stamp a, put a stamp on them. But some of them I did. That too, and I'm looking at these mushrooms thinking, oh, probably should use some of those, Sonia. <laughs> Life itself is a wonderful adventure, well, I do agree. Except for <laughs> some things that get, get upset you, though. I use little blocks to put these um, bits on here. And I hope when I find what I'm looking for, there's a house. Maybe I can move that off the air so I can use that block there. That's another house. There's another stamp with postage thing on it. There's a, these are for ta to make tag bits to, for collages and stuff, aren't they? You, you'd think I'd be fairly pushing out the work flat out with the amount of stuff that I've got. But I think it might be just a bit daunting sometimes. I'm thinking about... What I'm thinking is I might go through everything because I'm going to do my room and because I've got my cupboards the other day. I've got my shelves the other day. Well, four four big shelving unit things, like bookcases, to put my um, stuff into so I don't have it all in drawers, because the drawers I find hard to get at. And um, I might have to just go through each box, decide what I want to keep, put the rest in a pile and sell it, or give it away. Hey, okay, box at a time. 
and here's another one of these boxes of stamps this one's been more of a thing that I've stuck together for just for <laughs> making making them up I did I put them on cardboard because that pressed down and it made it soft and it worked really well this one here's good too it's got a um, little little they got little um, uh, cotton reels on the back of them and they got cardboard underneath them to give them some sort of I'm not pressing down thing and here is a tape measure look I'm doing good here <laughs> it's exciting isn't it and these bugs they can go on so these bugs are good to put on something aren't they on the on the bits and pieces if only I could come up with to get up and go to do this I haven't been very happy since my daughter and I haven't been speaking like we used to we're sort of talking but it's very um, not good and then my other one told me and my eldest daughter told me yesterday she was going to move to Victoria <laughs> that didn't impress me not one bit but anyway I've got all you ladies out there that would like to learn stuff so I want to I want to teach you and I want to learn stuff with you as I go along too. I've got these good little stamps. I have some number ones as well as far as I know. I'm looking forward to using the number ones because these ones, when you put them down, they don't go close enough together to make your word because they're too, um, oh well, it's just something. You, you've got to find out these things, don't you? They're too far apart. You know, even if you did one at a time, they're just too far apart. There's a ticket there. That's very good, isn't it? I'll be, oh, there, I've got another one of these. Oh, dear. I should be working away flat out with this. And there's another one of those things. And I've got butterflies and and, and stuff up to... <laughs> to wazoo, as we say, do we? Look at that. There's a nice bead. There's a nice bead there. Oh, it's got on it. I can't see what that is. That's interesting, isn't it? It's one of them. It's probably a good bead. It was on some jewelry, something, is it? Eraser. I probably need that. Some beads and things in here. Little circle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm excited now. I've got lots of things. I always have had these lots of things. I just not, just not um, been using them for a while. I wonder what this is. Can't see it. I'll just look up close, I'll let you know if I see what it says. It says get under the light here. Your bags. Your, your it says your bags or something. I'll have to stamp that and see what it says. I've also put stamps on things like this. That was a kid's block thing. That's a bird, one of my favourite stamps, that bird. Do I need a clock? Yes, I do. I was going to use a clock face for something. Use a better stamp than what you did before when you put it on there, that's on you. Mm -hmm, great. Yes, I probably should do that. Hey, pick out what I want to keep. The rest in the bag and say, well, if somebody wants this. See this, Amy? You made me this a really long time ago and sent it to me. Look, it's on the jigsaw puzzle. I still got it. I might not be. <laughs> it's it's been looked after. It's here. Oh, look at the size of the bird. It's here and it's in me things and I'm looking after it for you. If you send it to me. And these are nice, aren't they? They're lines. Oh dear, I'm going to have fun doing that, aren't I? Now let's. Now I'm going to be honest. That is not all. And how many do you need? You know, I suppose when you've got so many, I know this is not good that I have so many, but I've been collecting up for a lot of years, probably 40 or more, and um, just sit up a bit better. And I um, just have just so much, and it's just too much, isn't it, sometimes? Did I say I had that big thing there? I do. This one here, it hasn't got a very... What is this? Ooh, sticky like that. That's nasty. I wonder what's on that. Ooh, feels like oil or something. It's it's off the sticky tape. Whatever that is is coming off the sticky tape. 
Well, I won't be using that to do that with water now. Unless I can clean it, because I know I don't have a... This is off the sticky tape. Crikey. Or oh, something's melted on there. Hang on, I must remember. See the sticky? Look at that. The sticky tape's melting. That's interesting, isn't it? Not sticking to anything, it's just slimy. <laughs> Ooh. Because I put tape on here to try to hold this on, which I probably shouldn't have done, somehow it's dissolved. <laughs> Something's dissolved it. Ooh. Maybe I put glue of some sort on there as well, or... This is not efficient at all, this is... Don't expect me to be prepared to do a video. That's just asking too much, isn't it? I do have a block here because I had it the other day. But where did I put it? I tidied up my table. And that's the worst thing you could do, isn't it? Because when you're not going to tidy table, you can find things. Can't get that off there. I can use that one. I'll try to do my best. Got to get some something and wipe my hands up. Get sticky all over myself. Oh dear. This is crafting with me, and I spend many, many hours sorting through stuff, sorting out stuff, trying to find things that I can do that is going to be interesting <laughs> and fun of course you know I want to be able to do things like that and just sometimes you just can't you know you just can't get yourself going and things bother you when you're probably not even thinking about them out loud but in your mind in your brain something it could be happening now I've just got another box here with a couple in it a couple of stamps because I want to See if the block's in here, and it isn't. So I showed you these because I've got. Oh, look at that! These houses in that one, buildings, and now I've got feathers, and there's some really nice roses, and then little dollies. I haven't um, even used some of these and it's really starting to be needed to do need to use some. Oh, this has got little I bought this tin at Vinnie's with, for a dollar I didn't have these in it anyway. All these here I got the other day at Vinnie's, these little bits here so this was, in this tin there was these tags that I got, and there's more than now, we gifted some away. And this here, you got five packets of stuff for a dollar, and I got two packets of those, a packet of the elephants and two of those. So these cost me a dollar, these little tag things, aren't they cute? And then, and the mushrooms, love the mushrooms, look at that. You don't have to use that side, you can stick them in or do whatever you want to. But I've just got them sitting in there, because couldn't leave them there. This is a shop that's here that's just given all that stuff to Vinnie's and Vinnie's are charging five things for a dollar, which is not bad I suppose. Now to get the effect of these things I think I better use a piece of white paper and hope it doesn't blow away. <coughs> I really wanted to do that. I wanted to make some of these here. But they'd be better off stamped on a bit of um, two-tied paper, wouldn't they? What do you reckon? I've got a bag here with some. I have a girl that does them for me for, t for a big bundle. She just bundles them and she just thinks the last lot. I don't think she really wanted to do it. And she left them in there a bit longer. But they turned out really good because I love it. I do. I don't not really that big a fan of it, but I do like these. I think they turned out really cool. 
Det är inte alls den bara det är inte en matfärja. Det är inte en dag och det är inte en fyr. Det är halva i det som låter mån man har gått till det. Så är det inte en massa dörr. Vad kan jag se vart för mig i fan med en del den stöd? It's not now. Not hot now. Anyway, I don't know how long I've been going on this, eh? But that's okay. We're just crafting with me today. We're not actually crafting. We just you never know though. We could come up with something. There's always a there's always a possibility of a plan there, isn't there? Right. So now I'm gonna use this to put some stamping on. And see how some of these turn out that I don't remember even having in this pile of stuff. That's my good husband returning from the front yard. He's been out doing the booze. He can actually go garden now. Oh, he bought himself a Corvette yesterday. <laughs> ah dear, a new red Corvette. It's actually a mower. <laughs> but that's the name of it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so yeah, you got a Corvette? <laughs> We've never owned a car. We just, you know, we used to always walk and, and that now, so he still does. He just went through his smile because I just said to him that he bought a Corvette. <laughs> but that is fun. I mean, you know, do I do it black or brown? What colour do I use? Decisions, decisions, eh? He had his other mail for 20 years. But we did buy a good quality thing, and that's the idea. You buy the good quality thing in the first place, and that way you, you've you always got it, you know. And it lasted him for 20 years, and he took it out to the man yesterday, to, the day before, oh no, yesterday to fix it, but it wasn't even sparking, and it, um, he said to him, well, that's about it, you know. Well, it's going to cost, it was going to cost it 200 and something dollars to fix, so put it down. Uh, a wee bit more to it and you got it done. I'm gonna stick this on here. I don't I don't have to touch that, do I that bit? I wanna do that. I like that piece. And then I should put a little oops. That's not gonna say there now. Isn't it incredible? I've had that block sitting around here near me for days now and because because I want it, I can't see it anyway. It's just ridiculous. Just couldn't it just stay there for me while I stamp that? One minute, I'm gonna get a. I have this cotton reel and it'll go onto that. See that thing there? I bought this in a set of three from the reject shop. I don't know if you have them, and it had it actually one of them has and it's got one blue knob and you, you, you change them over. But and then I got these cotton reels one day and I set them on there and it works, so it works. Whatever works for you works for you. Now I have to put something soft underneath the piece of paper, don't I? Move my hand out of the way. I've got something soft under there, don't I? To stand for. People say. I don't know if this is going to be soft enough. This is the thing that I'm going to do my needle felt and I'm going to get me found one needle. I've made, made a couple of little things over the time. I really like doing it because I will get back in I've got that many different things, <laughs> as you know, that I, I do and I love to do, but I, I'm really looking forward to learning how to do some, I'm actually looking at my stamp, that's why you can't see me, sorry. <laughs> Am I in this thing? Oh, it's not aiming at me at all, I'm taking it further away, aren't I? Um, I hope this is right, I'm going to stamp it on here first. Oh, that looks good. Missed a bit on the end. So we'll go back and try this again. It looks nice. It's a movie reel, of course, or a picture, or a thing off a photo. Why am I shaking? Let's just try and get this straight, eh? Eh, it's not on the thing. And a bit of foam. Actually, this came out of one of the boxes that we bought. I don't know, we got a new microwave, we got something else. 
up that long ago and it was in the box and I said, do you remember that? Because these are just the thing for stick food on your noodle felt and wet. Right, I don't know why I'm here pressing it and pressing it. Oh, isn't that good? <laughs> wow, oh no, I got the ink down that bit. That's alright, I've got enough paper. We don't have to carry on like we don't have enough paper, Sonia. Right, now, let's do another one. What am I going to do it for? Don't ask me. <laughs> it's just like making bits. I was going <laughs> to sell some of them die cuts, but <sighs> I don't want to say I'm too lazy. <laughs> just, just never got around to it. If I stamp that there. Oh dear, come back on the thing, Sonia. What are you doing? Now that's jumped. I see. Oh no, look. Look, 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 look. Isn't that nice? Oh boy, that's really nice. Use that for something, but you need to have something in the background, don't you? I wonder what I'd do with that. Don't know. Let's just do some more stamping. <laughs> see, uh, see what sort of things I can get up, come up with that I, I can use for something. Right, the postage. St this here for the stamps. Put around the outside of the stamps. Maybe. I've got some. That, well, you make your own. We you cut them out. I don't know what what idea I'll, I'll do. Got nothing yet. Oh, oh. Let's just know when I come up with it. Let's get a bit of ink on that. Hope I've got enough ink on it. And go with it. <laughs> I know I needed something in the background, but really, actually, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks old doesn't it? It just looks like it's old. I need this to stick on in there. Nothing will stick to this now for me. Uh, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Nobody panic. I've got some masking tape here and I'll do one of these things, you know, where you just tear it like so and fold it around on itself. Stick it down on there, like that, and stick the stamp on. It won't stay, and now it will, I hope. There we go, see? Oh, look at me, I'm all pretty. <laughs> I'm not doing too good, am I? I haven't been on for a while, I'm not used to being <laughs> That's an excuse, I've ever had one. And I don't know why, but my battery's starting to go a bit flat. But you know what, I'm just going to keep going on with this and you're going to have to watch me. In, you don't have to, but it'll come in two, two lots if you like. Because it cuts itself off at an hour. But I don't know how much battery I've got on me. Um, just trying to clean my hand. don't know how much battery we've got on the... Um, <coughs> let me get me, because I haven't had it charged for a while because I just hadn't been doing anything. I'm just getting a bit of ink here, as you can probably see me doing that. Bit of ink. Now this is going to take a little while for me to stamp out a few of these, isn't it? There's one. I don't know what I'll do with it though. <laughs> See that? That's very nice. All like that. See, I can also, which I hope to, put these onto pages or something that I'm doing. Or I can cut them out and use them as a part of it. Now, I can put a stamp in there if I want to. Uh, Amy said, Amy who is Al John, really good crafting lady on here. Um, amazing lady. And my friend says I have been on here, she's been a really good friend of me. Um, she said, it's not how hard you push, it's you just you leave it there to get the ink to go in, right? It's nothing to do with how hard you press, <coughs> you just have to leave it there. Now I'm liking this bit in the middle, which I shouldn't have got because I pressed, I did press on it too hard on, this, on the um, ink pad, didn't I? So let's, let's just have something different because I'll just cut those out. <coughs> to use them on something and also as a reference for myself to know that I've got those there I wanted to do this um, 
last name real and see what it turns out like. I'm just using this ink here, it's long lasting life pad. This here, this stuff I got from the news agents decades ago, it seemed, well maybe not so much decades, but probably about seven years ago. Still going along good, but I don't use a lot of it because I use my other a little, another big pad that I use, of ink, ink pad, and, oh wow, this vintage, we're, get, we're getting a vintage look up here, aren't we, yeah, well I don't think I've ever seen that before, that stamp, I would have had to have done, yes, it would have, because it's on that thing, that lady on it's in that, it's in that collection of, of something, isn't it, okay, that looks good. I can just cut that out and use that as a as a vintage one. What does this say? That says destination. Isn't it supposed to say destination? Not mation. That mation? Goodness. <laughs> this is cool. I like that. I'd like to have a go at that one. Now that you could put over the top of something, couldn't you? Because it's got a it's like a frame on it. It's just a frame. Yeah. Gonna put it over this way a bit. Whoop. Oh. See what that is. Oh, there we go, look at that. That's its destination. This one's spelt wrong, it's got an M in it instead. This is D E S T I M A T I N. Destination. Right. Okay, so I've got those bits there. Now, <clears throat> oh, there's still lots over here that I haven't done. This, I like this, this bit here, this one here I'm really keen to do something with. I need to get some more. Instead of, oh, I don't know, I, I, I sort of need something like, oh, I've got a rabbit. <gasps> I bought a rabbit. I better show you my rabbit. I bought a little rabbit one. I'll give him a bit of a clean. I should have. I bought a little rabbit one from over in, um, across the way somewhere on AliExpress or something. He's cool, isn't he, too? I'll better give him a wash. I'm just giving him a wash, okay? There we go. Now I'm going to put him on something so I can cut him out. <laughs> I want that done, I'll just stamp down on. I put on, don't need, I suppose I should. I'll just get some. Ah, miles of ink, way too much. Look what I've done. That's terrible. Push it sideways and everything, Sonia. Where's the thing to clean it with now? Because I do not want to get that all over the place. Sometimes that is an issue with some of these, the thing's not high enough um, here compared to here. But I don't think that should happen, it must have been just the way I was putting it on there. Hey, it might be all my fault doing it that way. i have to stamp this one off a few times anyway because he's going to be putting him on the flat surface. I hope it works alright. He does. He looks pretty cool. There's a bunny. Bunny. This one here is a bunny. Two. Yeah, that looks nice. So now I can see the things that I have, or some of the things that I have that I need to and want to use in my uh, collage bits that I'm trying, trying to do. That's neat. Right. Now. Um, I'm a bit... <laughs> I don't quite now know what I want to do next. But it would be something. We could make something out of this, couldn't we? Do a tag. Do some tuck spots. This here, I want to put that onto something. I have made myself 
a well I'm in the process of making myself a <laughs> oh dear sorry everybody a glue book a glue book right I made a glue book now it's not got many pages in it because for the reason being I'm thinking um, I'm gonna be filling it up with stuff see so it's gonna and I made it out of a photo album thing see I suppose I should have brought you with me while I was doing this but uh, sorry anyway but uh, if you just want me to show you how it's easy really easy you just cover it because you've got your spine and it's fine all I did was take the plasticky parts out of the center of it brilliant idea I thought because <laughs> I do say so myself because I was going through different things here that I had. Now the only thing I, I well I've done this one here, this collage one that I did last night when I was trying to get myself the um, the idea, you know, of how things go. I did this from and it's not finished um, from because I like to come back later and I'll put a bit of something on and it'll be some of that stamp, probably a few bits of stamping and that on it yet. Um, but I uh, went and I found uh, the thing on the internet that a lady by the name of Marguerite I'll just have a look in this book here that I've got the idea somewhere with her. Is her name here anywhere? Oh dear. I don't think it is. Marguerite something or other anyway. And this is on the Vintage Glue Book and Pages site on, on Facebook. So if you go over there and join that, and then you have, they have challenges, you know, like she has some challenges, so you do a collage, right? Now this one is from week six, which is only just new, because I could only find week one and week six. And on it you had to have, I'll go right, it tells you what sort of prompts to use, okay? So you need something ornate, and I put on, um, the shoe which is not really ornate at all it's got those little things on it but it's not a really there's a bit of ornate stuff in there I suppose I needed something that was like um I got a few bits in here I should have put because of, I think I was looking at two things at once and did not think about the fact I could have put that no, that's not right. We need something that's got a pattern or, a, you know, something ornate on it. You know? But anyway, I'm just sort of giving it a try. So I wanted to show you what I've come up with so far, and then I can, I'm going to come on and do a couple, I hope, anyway. Um, so that's sort of, that there's probably got a, but that is from, um, this, there's a dictionary page, piece of paper for a dictionary there, because that's something else you had to have. Oh yeah, well it's needed in the collage thing. Something that spins, so I made a pinwheel. I made a pinwheel, so I was really pleased with that. But you know what, I kept making them and they were starting out really big, but they got smaller and I put a brad in there. It doesn't actually turn, because I've stuck it down, because this is actually the first one of the pages, so I'm just, I haven't sewn them in yet. I'll give you a look at my pages in a second. Um, so that was something that spins. Something starts with the letter C, well I put that there and said it was a cat. <laughs> well it is, you know, it is a cat, isn't it really? It's a big cat, but that's a cat. Uh, a piece of, half filled out piece of a blank form, well that was, there's a form under there and it's got a bit of writing on it. Um, and your bonus thing could have been something you see through a window if you didn't want to use or you could have used it but so there's six things usually so this is not m good because you should see what the other ladies do you know I mean I just had my best try <laughs> I had my best try because to be honest with you I can do anything with like I've said heaps of times with fabric for some reason the, the, paper box me I don't know why because it I suppose it shouldn't do I think it does anyway I might be wrong some people say to me I'm wrong I just don't know but I feel I haven't felt comfortable I've always enjoyed coloring in drawing and stuff like that but I don't, don't sort of feel comfortable putting these together because 
I don't know, just people just make them so amazing, aren't they? You know. So anyway, I've got two signatures here that I have to sew in, okay? But I'll just show you what I've put in these pages that I got. So this is just a piece, and this is from my glue book, all right? So these are pa this is a paper out of a um, book that I got the other day, and it is actually a typing exercise book. And absolutely amazing pages, look at that. Except it was, it's a uh, portrait instead of landscape. So when you put, there's a, um, the hinge, it doesn't matter if you go sideways. I don't care if you go sideways, if you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So that's what that bit is. This is a piece of music book, that bit. That's a bit out of um, the pattern book that I've got. Here's another piece of this. They've got all, it's got all different sorts of fonts. It's got different, um, which is interesting, because it's got writing, they've got writing pages as well. Um, so this was just a piece of paper out of the front of one of the books that I bought. The books that I bought are in the bin because I did got out what I wanted and got the rest thrown away. It's actually in the garbage truck now because he went a while ago. Um, these are coming out, this has come out of a sewing book. This is out of a children's book and I don't know why, but I do not like, I do not like the way, I do not, <laughs> I don't really like this. It's really weird, isn't it? But I don't. But I, I don't mind it. So I'm going to keep that and I'll cover over the bits I don't like, you know, because I'm going to be putting stuff in them. Um, and there's another bit of the... Now you don't, if you glue on it, so you don't have to cover it all over, you don't want to, do your glue book. And I, I've never made one before, this is my first attempt at this as well, because I've just seen other people make them, and I really wanted one so bad. Actually, I made my own a long time ago, and I didn't realise what it was, <laughs> because I didn't really, I thought it was just for sticking stuff, you know, I just do stick pictures in it, and I took it into the room yesterday. Oh dear, but anyway. So this is, um a bit more out of that book because it had writing in it. Other side of the music page and there's a bit more out of that book and there's a bit out of the what's the name book. And on the weekend I also got some old books as well with um, patterns and things in them so I put a piece of that in. That's not an old one but it is sort of, you know. These are my glue book pages, okay? Give me glue book so I can go through and do some some gluing. I've got some really nice old pages. I've got some really nice pattern um, things too, as well. Pattern, Vinny's patterns. Um, the other day, Vinny, so I've had a really good time <laughs> shopping. Um, but I don't, I don't want to bring home any more stuff because I really, really need to, to downsize my room so I can go in there. It's very disheartening when you can't go in and do your work. But anyway, so these are the pages and all I've got to do now is sew the signatures in. And I will do that as soon as I find my all, which I will look for shortly. But so that's what else I have done. Um, so I suppose even though I don't have mojo, I guess I just don't feel like doing a video as such because I don't know, I don't know what I want to show you. I, I feel like I'm running out of ideas. So um but anyway, so let's um see what's going on here. I wanted to put something on that page, didn't I? How much time have I got? Will I do a page out of my journal? I suppose I should do a page. As my journal, my love. we will do that. The one that I'm working on over here is the sewing one that I'm working on. And I've so far only put in, I must want the, this is right, this is the top. I've so far only put in this, this is all I've got so far. And um, I love it absolutely think that's amazing. I know I did it, but I still think it's amazing. One, one must like our work, must our, we must like our work, hey. Right, so now you need to see what the ephemera is that I've come up with to put in that. 
So that's another thing. Well, maybe I've been doing more than I thought. <laughs> maybe I've been doing a bit more than I thought initially. Got to find the right thing first. Here we go. <clears throat> right here now. So we're going to do a page. We've got some stamps. We've got some paper. And we've got these bits that I've made. So I did all these pieces. Now this is me telling you so I've got no mojo. But I guess it's just... Um, there's something I've seen on the internet now. This one keep a picture of that when you see something that's nice and you want to hang on to the idea I must have made that envelope I'm sure I did somebody did could have been me yes maybe <laughs> I don't know so this is the things that I've been doing right trying to figure out what I want to put on it because I have made a few, I don't want them to be the same. So I made all these cotton reels, like I, I printed off these cotton reels and I've stuck them on the card and I'm thinking about cutting them and putting them in separate somehow, which I needed to do. This here piece of, now I don't know if I made that, it looks a bit too good for me. I mean, I could have done <laughs> something sticky stuck on it. I might have made it, look, it's weak, it, I did, it's wonky. Right, that's mine, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Now I've got all these little ends off the cotton reels, right? And I printed that off. And I've got images and I printed off the images on the internet. And I've got tags here that I will make. But I've got these little cottons. Cotton reel ends. Don't we? Yes, we've got cotton reel ends. So, we could do a tag. That's a Cruscot box for a tag. Well, that thing there could be one. Here's the start of a bit of one. Here's another cotton reel thingy. I made a few of these. The only issue was cutting them out, see? That was the thing. I had to cut them out. Right. 